all hear me? Yeah. Good, okay. Um, so we're gonna talk about data, and I am going to be the advocate for all of you to be selfish and really loud and celebrate the impact you're going to make throughout this grant cycle because you are all serving your communities and you're building healthy soils and you're doing incredible work and as a result of being community-oriented humans, you're probably not great at bragging. So we're gonna make it easier for you. Um, the idea being that the folks with money, be it funders, municipalities, um, your regulators, power cycle in this specific instance, all of that data strengthens the case of why you matter, why you deserve more money to pay more staff, why you deserve land to do your work, and why we belong as part of our infrastructure throughout this country and our planet as a key solution to climate change. So, to start off, I'll give you a quick introduction to who we are and why we're here. We are definitely community composters. We don't identify as a software company. Um, <laughs> And we're working to build a zero waste world by keeping food waste out of landfills and using it to improve soil health and support resilient and equitable food systems. Pretty similarly to all of you. Um, we were founded in 2016 in Los Angeles and we ran there for three years serving about 200 residents as well as 15 to 16 medium large scale commercial sites and um, a number of events of different scales. Um, we specialize in Bokashi composting. We have always made a point of trying to stretch our limits and explore how we can do this work differently, create new opportunities for it, um, and really start normalizing all of our work and the different approaches to building healthy soils. Um, we now operate out of Rhode Island, so I travel kind of far to be here. I'm happy to be here and really excited to be with all of you and with the other few retreats. Um, but we are going to be tagging along throughout this entire grant cycle to help support all of you guys, tell your story, and effectively track the impact you're making. So, uh, this is what tracking data at our compost site typically looks like. We have our hot bin. This is my co-founder, Baba. He's taking our usual temperatures, moisture measurements, any other data we normally track throughout our composting process. Um, he will collect on a clipboard that looks like this, which is beautiful and lovely, and I imagine looks similar to what's going on on most of your sites if you're trying to write stuff down while you're covered in muck and leachate and mud and rain and whatever. Um, and by the time it makes it to my desk, I then spend probably about an hour and a half a month putting all this data in a spreadsheet so that I can email all our customers and tell them what they achieved and the carbon they sequestered and the impact they're making which, if you're able to do that, is a huge, huge win for your customers so they can really connect to what they're doing and not just that they're getting rid of this thing they feel guilty about going to the landfill, but really connects them to what they're trying to do. Um, so, the big thesis we have across the board that we've noticed throughout all the community composters in our country is that when it comes to really monitoring our work and reporting our impact and telling our story, it's difficult and it's time consuming and it's not what all of you should be spending hours and hours and hours on. You should be spending hours and hours on your sites, with your people, with your staff, and with your community, and we wanna free up that time for you. So we see an opportunity to create something really simple that has a big difference for your operational capacity, your sanity, and your time, and ideally will also allow you to secure more resources to keep going. So, what we are building is a piece of mobile-based software. It will be an iPhone, as well as Android, as well as tablet, every other device app. The idea is you'll be able to whip it out on your compost site whenever you do any activity, be it adding new feedstocks, be it turning a pile, checking the ambient temperature on the site you're working at, recording if you got a really heavy rain, if you're you know, turning something, adding new things in, you'll be able to track all this stuff really quickly on your phone. Um, and the hope, or the intention, is that this will allow us to capture this data across every stakeholder involved in your process. So if you're a community drop-off site where you have folks who are coming in and adding feedstocks when you're not there, they'll be able to log on and say, I added 20 pounds of food from my kitchen this week, and I also added a bucket full of sawdust. So you know what happens whether you're there or not. Um, the biggest part that we're most excited about with this is the ability to really quickly summarize your process and report your impact data. So imagining this is your temperature throughout a month of your compost pile. I want you to be able to see everything that happened and if you have a really messy pile, a smelly pile, something that went totally wrong, be able to look at it with someone who 
is maybe more experienced than you or more expert in a specific part of it and be able to diagnose what happened and why and solve it for next time or adjust it. Um, I want you to be able to really, really quickly export the impact you're making and give it to a funder or give it to a regulator and say we're doing everything we need to be doing, we're doing it right, and instead of spending hours and hours pulling binders and handwritten notes out of a cabinet to do so, be able to do so in an hour. Um, and across the board, we think this will build a platform for critical growth for all community composters. We are working actively to build this by, for, and with composters. It is built for you guys, and I want to build it with you guys. So you are going to be a huge part in developing this throughout this grant cycle. We got a teeny bit done in the last grant cycle, but we're really going to kick it into gear on this one, and you're all enormous stakeholders in making that happen what this looks like, how it will function, and making sure it works for you and the way that your compost process works. Um, and what we really hope to be able to do and make really easy for you is be able to share all this stuff with all the other stakeholders who matter in your process so you can keep going, so you don't hit major challenges, so you can demonstrate that you're sequestering carbon, you're feeding people, you're a food access point in a community garden. You are not only fulfilling your regulatory requirements, but going way, way beyond it in all of the other co-benefits you're creating with community-scale composting. Um, and at the simplest level, be able to tell the people who are interacting with your work what they're achieving by jumping in with you and doing this with you. Um, so these are the data points in um, our first round of funding that we identified throughout our other composters that we think are kind of the critical touch points where you need to capture information throughout your process. Um, you've already heard from Naomi, and you're going to hear from her after me. Um, but what she has already shared with you is going to enable you to start capturing a lot of this stuff as we're going. Um, basically, at each of these steps on your compost site, there's a bunch of stuff you got to do. And if you're experienced with all of this, you know what it feels like to get to your compost site with a giant laundry list of tasks before you get to leave. And the last thing you want to be doing is stopping and writing at every five seconds in the middle. Um, so the idea is each of these is a different function within this app that will make your life a little bit easier to capture what's going on every day. Um, okay. So at a really high level, this is a really quick wireframe of what one interaction on here might look like, where you get to your compost site, you pick out the exact batch you're working on, a specific hot box or a specific pile, you select it, you give it a name, uh, you set the type. We're hoping to really be able to support every single type of composting. So if you're doing something really unique and really interesting, I want to hear about it. And I, I'm going to bother the hell out of you to make sure this serves you too. Um, but you'll be able to track what you put in, how much, add notes, take photos, do all the stuff you need to do to really be able to have a retroactive full audit of everything that happened on your site. Um, so this is one snapshot of about 20 different sets of wireframes. It probably won't look exactly like this, but from a functionality standpoint, this is pretty much what you can expect. And what you've gotten from Naomi already is kind of mirroring this in a slightly different way. Um, but we're going to be taking all of that data you're sharing with Naomi's app right now, and we're going to use it to be building the reporting functions coming out of this, and I'll be seeking all of your feedback to figure out how exactly we make that look, how we make it most useful for you. I'm going to be asking you to try out different iterations of things and let me know what works and doesn't work. Um, across the board, it's most important that you know that we are an open door for you. I care about every single one of you, and the more input we can get from all of you, the better this will be. Um, this is like the big takeaway I really want to share when you're struggling to think about bragging about your work, celebrating your work, telling your story effectively. This is an EPA program manager who specifically focuses on small scale composting. She is the person who goes to our major senators and legislators on the Hill and says, we need money for XYZ. She wants to be able to go to them and get us more money for community scale composting and advocate for us, but we don't have the information to be able to accurately tell her what we're accomplishing and why it's a good investment. If you've seen the takeaways from the last round, y'all basically proved we can do the same work as a large scale composting facility for half the cost with an enormous amount of benefits to your community, your soil, your food systems. And we basically want to give them the fodder to be able to continue advocating for us and considering us a key component of our infrastructure when our cities are making decisions about how we handle our waste streams. 
Um, I want to make sure that in any city that you live in, that you get a voice in what happens to the waste that happens there, that a portion is being allocated to be handled locally, to be serving your soils, not being trucked 70 miles away. Um, so if you ever need a motiva motivational speech or you need help bragging about your work, please call me because I will be so happy to do it. Um, but this is not a good time to be humble. This is a really good time to brag about the amazing work you're doing, and I want to give you the tools to do that. So this is the work we're going to be doing together when we talk about impact reporting. There's requirements that you will have to hit for CalRecycle and reporting requirements that Naomi will talk about in more depth. We're going to go beyond that. We did it last time, we're going to do it again. There is diversion, there is the very key, simple, black and white things that we're achieving on an environmental level, but there's so much that you are each doing beyond that, that involves humans, that involves soil, that involves food. Um, and we want to capture all of that, strengthen your processes, make it easier to understand what's going on in complex situations, um, and really be able to tell your story effectively. Um, so where we're at right now, on the first round of this funding, we started a bunch of user research and discovery. We had a lot of conversations with folks like you. We developed a pre-release version of the mobile app. So what we have given this program in the past essentially looks like that wireframe I just showed. You can click through it, you can put stuff in, but it doesn't save data yet. The database piece is the chunk we're working on right now, and it's the most important piece so that we can aggregate nationally our impact data and at a state level and across the board demonstrate that we as a sub-segment of our industry are critical and viable. Um, and we've done a little bit of testing and feedback from the first few users. What we found out is not everyone has an Android phone, so the first thing we're prioritizing is making sure we're on Android and iPhone this time around. Um, and that there will be something for you to actually save that data to. So we're not going to give you stuff to play with that is not going to save information. By the time you're playing with our stuff, it will be because it is working and because we're capturing all of that and making it easy for you to report what you need. What we're excited to do this time is continue developing the broader vision of the app. That's where all of you come in. I want to know exactly what you need out of it, what is important to you, what your biggest challenges on your sites with your stakeholders and what your communities are. I will bother a lot of you if I don't get to talk to you this weekend. I will probably be asking to check in with you for a 15 minute call sometime in the next few months. Um, it will literally be me asking you about your daily operations on your site. There is no wrong staff member, there is no right staff member. Every single person involved in your composting site has a valuable lived experience with how they experience the site and the work. And we want to think about every single one of those people. So if you hear from me, which I hope you all will, um, it will be to check in really quickly, understand what's front of mind for you, what's really difficult, and how we can help smooth some of the, that stuff out for you. Um, we are working not only with this group, but with other composters throughout the country to start piloting this app in different settings and different scales to really confirm the functionality will work for everybody. Um, and if any of you have seen any of the digital monitoring technologies, like probes that go in piles and use radio waves and all that jazz, we intend in time to build all of those in. So if there's cool stuff you're already using, like Stop Suite or We Radiate Probes, those are all on our list for like a day two, what we want to accomplish. We want everything to plug in together. Um, so if you're using something different and you feel like it competes, I still really want to learn from you and what you love or don't love about it and what would be most valuable to add on to it. So that's pretty much where we're at. Um, none of you need to scan this Get Involved link because you are all involved by being here. Um, but I am so excited to meet every single one of you, support all of you, and be a resource to all of you however I can. So with that said, I'm going to hand it over to Naomi, who's going to talk about how we're collecting this info tomorrow and immediately and in the meanwhile. Um, and we will go from there. And then we can answer questions together. <laughs> 